Hey, what up fuckers? It's your boy Abao from Project Rogue coming at you today with another script breakdown. In this series, we break down the scripts that are live with inside of Project Rogue Roleplay. We show you how they work and we show you some core functionalities of the script. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right in today's video. It's going to be a good one. In today's episode, we will be sitting down with our brand new towing system for whitelisted mechanic businesses. Each mechanic shop at Project Rogue offers a tow job position. Simply apply for a tow job position at any one of the mechanic shops offered at Project Rogue. You will then head on over to the main impound lot, which can be found at the center of Los Santos. Once you get to the tow yard, head to the side of the building where you will find this gentleman. He is where you will interact with for most of this job to start it. Once you have launched the menu, this will give you a quick breakdown of your tow experience. This job does offer actual XP, so the more that you interact and do this job, the more XP you get, which in return gets you more pay. If I were to go on duty as another job, we can see that I'm not able to interact with this guy anymore. I have to be on duty at a mechanic shop. Once we are ready to start taking tow missions, we simply go back into the menu and we hit lease the truck. Once you've leased the truck, it'll give you a couple items. Here we can see that I got a tow note and then I also got a tow remote. The tow remote is going to be an interactable that we are going to use at the job site and the tow note, as you see right here, has all the metadata embedded into it. Now that we have gotten the remote and we have gotten the note, we are good to go to hit the road. If we were to open up our mini map, we will find that we have three areas to search for our tow. Here we can see the three circles pinging right here. Let's go ahead and hit the road and head on up there where we will find our tow. Now that we have made it up here to Upper Vinewood, we can see the pings are pinging on the map. So we just need to find where this vehicle is. If we were to open up our phone, we will actually see that we have gotten an email for this and we can also verify the plate. Once we have verified that plate and model of the vehicle, we can locate it and then we can hit G when we've gotten there. Hitting G will start lowering that flatbed automatically for you. Then simply line it up to the vehicle. Once you have done that, you can go ahead and hop out of the vehicle and start heading over to the bed. Once we're at the bed, we want to go ahead and walk up the bed where we will come to these cables. As we see here, if we hit E, it will pick up the hook. If we go ahead and hit E again, it will go ahead and retract the hook. Let's go ahead and grab the hook and we'll show you what happens if you drop it. Here, I'll go out on the side of the bed and I'll hit E. Hitting E will drop the hook and I will not be able to pick it back up until I walk towards the hook. Hitting E will then pick it back up and I can go to the front of the vehicle or the back of the vehicle to start wenching the vehicle. Here we see that we've attached it by hitting E and now we can go ahead and use our remote which will allow us to wench the vehicle up. Whenever you are closing this menu, make sure to hit the bottom option to get the prop out of your hand. Once the vehicle is winched onto the bed, you can then hit attach the car and it will attach to the flatbed. Once it is attached to the flatbed, you are good to hop back in the truck and hit G once again. Hitting G will make the flatbed automatically raise and set in the correct position. Now that you have the vehicle and the bed all completely raised back up, we are good to go to head back to the main impound lot. The main impound lot is marked by a solid white line leading you back to where you need to go. Once you have gotten to your destination, you want to go through the gates and it will show you which location you need to drop the vehicle off. There are three different unloading points, one in the center, one to the left, and one to the right. This is the center drop off point. Once we get into the position when we are in the correct heading, you will then hit your E button and it will start to unload the vehicle for us. The vehicle will then detach automatically and we can hop out of the vehicle. Then let's go ahead and talk to this gentleman right here where we will sign the paperwork and get our payout along with our vouchers. Pay goes directly to the bank where you can collect your paycheck and vouchers go directly into your pocket. If you want to continue going, you can of course collect a new route or you can return your tow truck at any time and stop these. 
Now, let's go ahead and take a look at what you can do after you've learned a couple things around the tow yard and you've gained some experience. Right to the left of where you start these jobs at is a crafting table. Once you've gained enough experience, you can craft different items. Here you can see I just have a little bit of experience, so I can only craft a radio or a car jack. The more experience that you gain, the more items that you will be able to make. Here, if I attempt to make the car jack, you'll see that I don't have enough items. Let me go ahead and grab a couple items to make this. All right, so as you can see, I now have the desired materials that I need to be able to craft this. Let's go ahead and craft a quick car jack. Once the progress bar is completed, the item gets placed right into the player's pockets and they can immediately use it or store it for later use. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that is our brand new tow missions for whitelisted mechanic jobs. We hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section below what you're most excited about this update. If you yourself are looking to do these awesome activities within roleplay, then look no further. Head on over to www.projectrogueroleplay.com today to get whitelisted. Alternatively, you can also find us at discord.gg slash project rogue come on over and enjoy the fun that over 10,000 adults 18 and plus just like you are enjoying today ladies and gentlemen boys and girls if you made it this far thank you so much for being a part of project rogue roleplay we truly do appreciate each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your morning afternoon or eat you know what actually hold on now listen, I know a lot of us motherfuckers be in this situation on the daily, and since we already previewed the card jack when you guys are crafting it, we might as well show you what it does. So once you have a card jack in your pockets, you'll go ahead and use it. Go over to a flipped vehicle and it'll show you an arrow above that. Go ahead and hit a good old left click and you'll start jacking up the vehicle. This prevents people from just simply turning over their vehicle and going on their merry way. Players will have to go ahead and card jack the vehicle up in the air and then they will have to use the item once again to get the vehicle back down. If they try to get in the vehicle, like you see what I'm trying to do here, I won't be able to just drive off. I have to physically get this thing on the ground. So now that we have seen that we cannot use the item, let's go ahead and get out and let's use the item once again to get it back onto the ground. Utilizing the item again, you just simply click the vehicle once again, and now we are going back down. All in all, turning over the vehicle from start to finish lasts about 30 to 40 seconds, depending on how fast you get it going. And now we are officially back in business. We did not have to call anyone and we can drive our car off in the sunset. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hopefully you enjoy this part of the update as well. Have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you guys are at in the world. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.